uh, done so that we could have our guest today. I'm on a different platform um, today so that, you know, Hill is supposed to be with us today. And of course, the technical gremlins are attacking us. So we're going to start and we're going to do our and we're going to do our daily um, message. Uh, I need a favor from you today, so I'm going to ask for that. Good morning. They're loading in. Good morning, Winston-Salem. How are you? And Raleigh, good morning. Oh, you showered with Sweet Attraction. Good for you. Good morning, Chi-Town. Good morning, Sweden. Schenectady, New York. Yeah. So uh, I'm just going to know and hold the high watch that whatever the technical gremlins are doing, that they're gonna get themselves together and that our guest is gonna be able to be here. Good morning, Boston, Jersey, San Diego. But if he doesn't make it in, we'll, we'll figure it out. Good morning, Houston, Yosemite, East. Oh, I love Yosemite. Good morning, Landover and the Boogie Down Bronx. Grand rising to you. How is everybody? Let me see, is that, mm. Yeah, they're so tacky, right? <laughs> Listen, ladies, join me in a solemn prayer of farewell to the, to the fingernails. I, they got to go. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> they have just grown beyond. I'm, t I'm trying to keep them on with crazy glue. It's just too much. So I said, okay. So I am going to let them go. I'm going to let them go. Cypress, Texas, Woodstock, Georgia. Facebook, not live. Facebook, Are you, if you're on Facebook, say you're on Facebook because I see it moving there. Uh, I don't know why. I know there's some technical stuff going on. And if I have to sign off and sign back on, I'll do that. Um, can you see me on Facebook? That seems to be the problem this morning. That seems to be the problem. Uh, I don't care how many times you do the technical test, if you do the technical test, uh, yeah, Facebook, okay, so I'm on. So I don't know what y'all are talking about over there, YouTube. I don't care how many times you do the technical test. If you do it, when it comes time to do the thing, it just, <laughs> and you know me, I, me and the tech, but I've been doing good with the technology. They have my whole house rearranged to do the new show. Good morning, Cleveland, Louisville. Who did I see over here? Um, yes, you're on Facebook. Okay, I don't know why they're telling me that Facebook isn't on. Thank you, Miss Angie Marietta. Mendota Heights, Minnesota. Good. Good morning, England, London. Yeah, so wonderful. Doesn't it feel good when we all come together? I don't know why it looks like my head is crooked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How was your night? Did you um, continue your work yesterday? And I hope you are still standing up. Well, today, uh, well, hopefully uh, uh, he's going to make it in. I, I don't know. I don't see him yet. San Antonio, Wichita, Kansas. I love that. Arizona, St. Louis. Come on. France. Good morning, France. And right under you, France, is Toronto. You all speak the same language. Tallahassee. Good morning. Yes, 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 yes. So if you're new here, if you're a newbie, good morning, Netherlands, Amarillo, Texas. I saw an Amarillo once. Um, if you're new here, we welcome you. You are welcome into the space with us. Yes, 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 yes. And um, uh, we come here every day. I just got to use both my eyes to try to stay on the lookout for... Um, Stay on the lookout for Hill, because I know he's trying to get in. But I do want to say a loving good morning to everybody. Not only is this our exciting day because we have a guest, but this is an exciting day because today I start production on the new show. But I'm going to tell you about that later here in the global living room. Good morning, St. Thomas. We just come together to be together. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that we've been doing this, what, for 38, 39 days? Is that amazing or what? Who knew? I mean, when we were, what, four or five weeks ago, just trying to figure out what to do with our days, and now we have an appointment, and we come together every day, and what a glorious uh, blessing it is to be here. We're going to um, talk about what we learned yesterday, but I do have to step out a little early today because they're starting production, and I need to get prayed up and get ready, okay? 
Yeah, all right? So remember when we thought we were not going to make it? Good morning, Sedona. I love Sedona. Good morning, Goldsboro, North Carolina. Yeah? Um, when we weren't going to make it, when we were looking for things for the kids to do every day, all right, and now we got homework and assignments and journals. <laughs> I love it. Day 39, amazing. Isn't that amazing? Day 39. Who would have... Allie Jacob Jones, what is this 100 thing you do? You do it every day. I have no idea what that means. So if you, if you would share that, that would be very interesting, unless you're just doing that to get my attention, okay? But we've come together. Have we learned so much together? And have we supported each other? Oh my God. Great and grand and glorious rising to us on this day, this uh, Tip Your Hat Tuesday, all right? Welcome to your daily antiviral message, living beyond the virus, and this is day 39. And we just continue to get stronger, we continue to get wiser, and we continue to get better. And so we begin. Come on, let's breathe. Yeah, we're loading in. Take a long, deep breath. Yeah. And a slow, complete exhale. YouTube, I don't know where I'm looking at today, so forgive me. <laughs> ah, okay. All right, wait a minute. I'm getting a message here. He, he has to use the link. Um, I'm getting a message that he's logged in under Angela Frank, but I, he needs to use the link. <laughs> Ah, uh, so y'all keep breathing, keep lo lo uh, loading in. Yeah, the prosperity game. Are you on your prosperity game? I have to use this phone. Um, and I'm going to, I'm trying to get to Hill, okay? So that's what I'm doing. I'm, let me do that. Uh, I just got a thing, a message. Let me go to my messages. Okay, and see what that says. Okay, I can't use this phone for the messages. All righty, help me, Miss Angie. <laughs> That's all I can say. Uh, Miss Angie, I'm going to send you something. Um, and then you will, you all understand me by now, right? Uh, what do I have to do? I have to push that here. All right. Oh, okay, I can't. I don't know what to do. <laughs> And I'm sweating, mm-hmm, because I got on a sweater and it's 60 degrees, but that's okay. Y'all keep loading in, keep loading in. All right, I don't see an Angela Frank. I don't see an Angela Frank. So if uh, you are, uh, oh, you know what? He's on the wrong page. Mm. He's on my fan page. He's on my fan page. All right, I don't know what to tell you other than he needs to get over to my, uh, this page. I sent you the, the correct page. Anyway, um, we're going to breathe and we're going to keep on rolling. And if he don't make it, he don't make it. But he's on the wrong page. That's the problem. All right. Come on, let's take a breath. And he's inhaling and exhaling. Yes, we are taking a long, deep breath. Mm -hmm. And gently follow your breath. You're breathing in. You're breathing out. Settle in. Settle in. Yeah. Be aware of your body. Notice what's going on in your body. Listen. Listen to the sounds in the room. Stay connected to your breath. Listen to the sounds in the room. Notice any smells, any scents, any movement. Just notice. Just be aware. Stay with your breathing. 
You're breathing in. You're breathing out. Yeah. You're breathing in. You're breathing out. YouTube. Oh, there you are. Come on. You're live. I'm sorry, YouTube. But today is just seems to be like a technical disaster. I don't know what's going on, but that's okay. We're gonna stick with it. Come on, YouTube. Don't 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 flake out. Listen, I come to y'all every morning at 10 o'clock. You can't wait three minutes with if we get a little technical problem. Huh? Come on now. We'll get it together. You know that the technical gremlins. Um, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Does he? Does she's like it's okay. Mm hmm. It's okay. Uh. Okay. YouTube, you back? I'm sorry. It's like you know we have a. Chantilly, Virginia. Yeah. So you all say something good to me. I'm always, we're waiting for Hill. He's trying. You know, the technical gremlins are getting him, but that's on. Haven't been on in a while. The exercises are reflection. Are, uh, yes. I don't want to do our exercise yet. Um, uh, be, okay, there we go. There we go. Uh, oh there you are. <laughs> uh, I know. Don't. It's the te technical gremlins. Okay, you hold. You hold on. So sorry, everybody. No, no, no. They can't see you yet. Let me introduce you. Let's be, okay. let's be professional. <laughs> okay. So we got it worked out, everybody. Okay. Are you ready? So today's lesson is, is really going to be a little different because we do have a guest. Um, and it's, I think it's important that so very often when we give our all to something or we do something that we consider to be valuable uh, for someone, um, and, and it's not acknowledged, you know? And that leaves us, you know, sometimes we don't do it for the acknowledgement, but it leaves a little chink in our armor. And for many of us, that's a trigger. You know, we're bringing it from, from childhood, and that's a trigger. And we feel denied or devalued. So when somebody really recognizes what we've done, and takes the time to thank us, or just to be present, not and the importance of community. Hold on, YouTube. I'm YouTube. Good, YouTube. I'm sorry. We, we're gonna do it now. Our guest. I'm gonna go ahead and introduce him so that when he's back, you can you can. I'll bring him right on. You may know him as Sheldon Hawks from uh, CSI in New York, or you may know him as Dr. Marcus Andrews, the good doctor on ABC right now. I know him as a friend and as a brother. He's my frat brother, he's an alpha. <laughs> um, I know him because his mother was the first black anesthesiologist to practice in this country. And his father is a psychiatrist. I know him because he, I didn't know that he went to Harvard Law School, but he did. So as soon as he can get back on, we're going to bring him here just to speak to you. Uh, I think, I don't know if it's his signal or my signal, but somebody's signal is gone. Um, and let us do this. Let us bless him now, okay? If you'll join me in placing your hand on your heart and just see uh, him, just see him, his energy. And let's send him this energy. May you always know love. May you always know peace. May all of your good efforts be blessed. And may you always have joy. Yeah. Yes, isn't it beautiful to be in community? Okay, now, um, YouTube, I need to use this phone to communicate back with him. <laughs> okay. So I got to cut you all off. Go over to Facebook, Dr. Iyamla Van Zandt. Go over to Facebook if you can, okay? So that you can be on Facebook with us because I can't, I need this phone. <laughs> all right? Hang on. I'll be back. But if you can, go over to Facebook, go over to Facebook. All right? <laughs> so I'm just going to bring you in. Uh, so. Uh. I know. It always does that, you know, the, t the technical yeah. gremlins. Here we go. I don't know if that's your signal or my signal. I don't know. 
Okay, here you come. Come on, it's coming. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> what in the blazing? All right, here we go. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Listen, okay, I, and, and I'm about as technical as a donut hole, so the mere fact that you on here is exciting to me. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, it's so thankful. Everybody's so sorry. We've been trying and fighting and battling. They know. Don't even apologize. Listen, I, they know that sometimes I'm upside down or to the side, so <laughs> the mere fact that you're here is so that you're here, and we're just so good. Let me tell you about this community hill. Okay. This is a global community. We've been coming together every day for 39 days. Mm. And we pray and we meditate and we send out our blessings and we do a lesson. And that's how I was able to introduce uh, the concept of your, of your pro project to them. And I said, just what you said to me, if you've got a dollar, give a dollar. Um, if you've got... Uh, five, give five. And you know how much this community raised in two days Incredible. from all over the globe. I mean, we've got Germany, we've got France, we've got uh, all of the Caribbean, all across the United States. And every single morning we, we log in here. So I just give you the floor, whatever it is that you want to share with the community. Um, okay. Oh, Lord, now you froze. <laughs> Amazing. This never happens. Okay. I think it's your signal. You're frozen, Hill, but that's okay. We're going to hold on off YouTube here. Okay. Your connection was lost. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Let me see if I can get him back. Yeah, I know. Is this amazing? This never happens to us. And here we are this morning with this level of Wahala going on. Okay. We lost her. We lost him. We hear you. We can't hear you. He'll be back. Okay. How you doing over there on YouTube? Let me see. Uh, can you all see? I, I don't know. Top chat. All right. Here we go. Yeah, I know, isn't it something? Just the technical gremlins, okay, he'll be back, <laughs> we'll get it. But isn't it amazing that every morning we come here, we may have a little glitch here or a little glitch there, but this morning when we're trying to do something, it was the same thing when we had Warfield, isn't that amazing? Same, same setup, every morning you see the kitchen, you see me, yeah? But we just gonna keep on, he'll be back, don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. It's going to happen. Um, and I'm going to call my other side of my team. And you know what? But I can't do that. Um, he'll be back. All right. Now, what do we do in the meantime? Let's just talk to each other. <laughs> this is going to be some replay tape, right? <laughs> uh -huh. We shall make it happen. Okay, everybody send a good thought. You saw he was here. Send a good thought and a good energy, and we'll know. Let's send good thoughts and good energy to the, to the technical wires, to the, to the server, to the computer, to Hill, to me. Just focus in. We will do this. It will happen. No, forget the devil. The devil ain't got nothing to do with this. This is our mind and our power. It's just the technical gremlins, uh, you know, that, that happen. So let's send, let's say it, it will be done. It will be done. This need not be. And I know Hill is probably frantic over there trying to get back in, but that's okay. We'll, we'll get it done. <sighs> yeah, come on. So I'm glad all of you all are watching. You know, I, I've learned in all these years that I've been on the planet, it just, everything is just as it needs to be. And if he don't need to be here today, he'll be here tomorrow. If I got to go to another location <laughs> and set this thing up, we will. Yes, I'm going to tell him to breathe. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, so let's go. Uh, right replay, Iyamla, fix the technical wires. Yeah, come on. Uh-huh, we'll do it. Um, and I don't want to start our, our breathing because I don't want him to come in and then we have to stop. So here's what we're going to do. I will do our inspirational reading, okay? So here's our inspirational reading today comes from Steps to Knowledge, all right? And that's by Marshall V. Ann Summers. You know it's an important book to me. Why? Because it's bound. <laughs> so the reading is Step to Knowledge, and this is Step 51. And this is what it says. It says, Let me recognize my fears so that I may see the truth beyond them. Let me recognize my fears so that I may see the truth beyond them. You see, here he comes, all right? I'm not running my mouth, I'm bringing him right on. <laughs> all right, here we go, come on. There you are. <laughs> you see, hey. we called you in. Now, put your camera on, I don't see you. Okay. Oh, there um. you are, here you go. So. It's the technical gremlins, and we just sent out good prayers, and here you are. I'm going to shut up. You talk. <laughs> okay. I just, the main thing is, is just thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All of us are so grateful. Um, every day I get a DM, a text, a tweet from somebody in Flint that waited in a two-and-a-half-hour lineup of cars for the water that this community, you all, help provide in the city. Mm. Um, another shipment of 5,000 gallons, which is a whole truckload, is coming this week. And then another shipment of another 5,000 is coming next week and another the next. So our goal, and, and Ianla taught me an extremely valuable lesson in this, and I'm sure she's, she's taught all y'all that, but I needed to learn it. When she saw me, the goal that I had originally set of 24,000, and that was to get hopefully 10,000 gallons um, to, the, to the city and the community of Flint, Michigan, uh, which is a water desert, literally, um, right now, clean water desert. Um, she said, Hill, you set your goal too low. <laughs> you set it too low. You know, you have to go bigger. And, and, and she reminded me of how great we all are and how we can actually ask the universe for more and, and if it's done in a humble sincere way of providing help the universe will 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 uh, uh will coalesce and combine and along with just just beautiful people like yourselves that have given one dollar all the way up to five thousand dollars so thank you thank you thank you to the community the city of flint and folks there say thank you they're so grateful and know that the, the water that you're blessing them with will continue. And obviously, we need sustainable solutions there. Yeah. But that's what, what we're doing right now. Right now. Right now, we're just trying to deal with the emergency. Yeah. The, 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 the real, the emergency of the COVID crisis hitting Flint right now, not having access to clean water. Wow. And, and then after this is over, we're going to use every legal remedy we have, every uh, activist remedy to really bring long-lasting solutions. There's a wonderful organization called the National Clean Water Collective, which is a small grassroots water organization that we've been working with that's bringing solutions. And so I'm just so grateful uh, to all of you. And Ianla, thank you. Oh, <laughs> you freeze on my thank you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Is that amazing? Is that amazing? Is that amazing? Right in the middle of the thank you to me, he froze. <laughs> but that is, let's see if he can come back up. I think he might have to reconnect. Yeah. Um, but can you imagine? Uh, well, he lives in Detroit. So I guess Flint, Flint was close to his heart and close to his home. But, you know, to take time out of, uh, this man is filming a television show. He does movies. He has an incredible youth mentoring program. He mentors all around the country. I don't know if you've seen his uh, book, Letters to a Young Brother, and, or, or Letters to a Young Sister, but, I mean, classics. 
um, and he, he works with youth. This is a Af single African-American man who adopted children, a child. Um, kind of, well, the child adopted him. That's what Hill says. <laughs> Here he is. He's coming back. <laughs> So, okay, let me let me get him on here. Yeah. It's good. You'll be up in a minute, Hill. Okay. <laughs> Did anything I say come through? Well, right? yeah, you know where you stop? Or my thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, okay. but that's okay. I know you're thankful. Um, and I was just saying to... Um, to the community how beautiful it is that you, um, you know, I mean, you're this big Hollywood actor, this Harvard-trained lawyer, but that you work with youth, that you are one of like 0.1 percent that of, um, of men who adopted children, and just your heart, you know, your heart. But this is what I want to know. What has to happen for the sustainable solution in Flint? What? Because I tell you, I'm on that step with you. Where you go, yeah. I go. What, so it's really what, a three-step process, right? Right now is the triage, emergency room. We got to just get them water survival through this crisis. Then the next step is working on uh, filtration for individual homes, which makes whatever water is coming into the home. You're agnostic to it because we're going to be able to filter that water once it hits the house. And then, the, obviously, the bigger remedy is digging up every single bad pipe in the city and, and, and providing clean water. But that's not where it stops. There has to be a fund set up for the children who have been poisoned. Yes. Just like the 9-11 Victims Fund, there has to be a fund set up because, uh, you know, if you want to talk about a city that's experienced horrible luck, 60 Minutes had worked on an eight month long piece profile, profiling what's still the horror of Flint and the fact that the children are actually been poisoned worse than we thought. There's a doctor there named Dr. Mona who actually was diagnosed with COVID-19 and she's, she's come through it thankfully, but she was the one that originally exposed it and she's still the pediatrician there that's dealing with, with the kids. And the, the, the situation of the lead poisoning of the children, which we know causes different types of of behavior disorders as well. Learning, as learning disabilities, respiratory <laughs> problems, central nervous system problems. Yeah. Yeah, and many of them, many of those things don't appear until later. Later Just on. Like at 9/11, the first responders they weren't sick the next day, but obviously they were sick. So there was a victims fund set up. The same thing has to happen in Flint, I and mean, we're in federal court fighting for that Flint vic Flint victims fund for the children, so they get the services and help. And support they need over the course of their life in you know in terms of learning and additional facilities in the community none of it exists it's a tragedy beyond measure that once the news cameras left that's it and the movie was built to help a bunch of poor folks yeah left as well yeah and, and the movie got a response Ianla, from someone who said you know if it's so bad there and it's been bad for six years, how come those people don't just leave? I'm tired of hearing from them. They they shouldn't even be there. And I said, God, I said, bless you. But you, the folks with the economic means have left. Yes. That, the property values have dropped over 90%. You, you, you can go there right now and buy a house in Flint for $5,000. But let's say you had bought before the crisis or your grandmama had spent her whole life working hard to pay off that family home. You can't sell it. You can't leave, and you have no economic mobility. 41% of the people there live below poverty line, and most of them are African-American women ages 24 to 35 and single moms. Yeah. Well, and now they have COVID. Now they have COVID. Yeah. And we know that in the, the wealthy uh, neighborhoods, in the wealthy grocery stores, they're only letting you take a bottle or two out. What do you think... What do you think is in the grocery stores in Flint? Not it's, much. It's not there. Not much. Not it's much. just not there. And it's amazing to me how, you know, we, um, you know, if it's not on the news and it's not in front of our face, and I, I say in this community all the time, there are other things going on besides the virus. You know, they have us hypnotized with the corona and the things like this are going on. You know, infant mortality still challenges the people who are incarcerated. They're not talking to us about that. You know, they forget about those. And, and the COVID is, is just running rampant 
through the yeah. through the judicial system, and you know people in Flint don't have water, and we're complaining because we got to be home, but we can go to the sink, the refrigerator, somewhere and get some water. So yeah. I really wanna I really wanna thank you. Uh, for bringing it back to my awareness because I was very active in the beginning and then, you know, we get busy. So when you said it, I was like, ooh, 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 ooh. okay, let me get on this, yeah. And, and Iyanla, to be, to, be, to be completely transparent, I was in that COVID mindset too in, until the people that I've been working with there started hitting me on either DMs or emails or, or texts saying, we need help yeah we're in trouble yes there was one woman in india boone who's four-year-old i don't have a it's on my phone but a picture of her four-year-old her face is burned the, the water's burning her face she had ex eczema don't stop me because i can't take it with the children i'll be weeping <laughs> I'll, I'll be weeping couldn't use the tap water so she had to use bottled water that she didn't have the water to wash her daughter's face wow. or let her brush her teeth and and you're right i'll tear up you know, because I have a four-year-old son, as you mentioned, and I, I, and just the privilege and the blessing when you think about the ability, I'm, you know, the, the things I'm worried about is trying to figure out how to get him to sit still for some homeschooling. <laughs> right, Not right. His face burning from really corrosive water coming out of a pipe. Right. And it's, uh, so, so I thank you for your leadership in this and literally taking it on um, when you when when we talked about it and you t becoming a, a leader in the charge and your community um, stepping up as well, so just we, just you know, abundantly grateful. You know what what, I, what I've learned is the Creator will bring God will bring things into my life, and when they show up, there's something for me to do, and I simply ask, what do I need to do? And so this community right here, where we're feeling you know a certain way just to be able to support and help something. Take your mind off you for a minute, you know, tithe your time, your energy, your resources. That's what's gonna get us through. So I just follow directions. I say, thank God and thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Marcus Andrews, right? Is that your new character? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm Dr. Marcus Andrews, I'm a good doctor, that's right. <laughs> On TV. Well, your parents are doctors. My, both of my parents are doctors. My father uh, was a psychiatrist. He, he passed away um, in 2000. And my mother was one of the first African American uh, female anesthesiologists. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And they both, they both, they met at Howard Medical School. And here in D.C. Wow. All right. Well, you're froze again, so we're not going to bother you no more. Everybody say bye to Hill. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see him on YouTube. Can you see him? Oh, my God. I don't even know. But we will figure it out. Uh, say bye to, to Hill. Or did I freeze too? Who's freezing, me or him? I have no idea. Oh, me. <laughs> I'm the one freezing. Okay, wait a minute. It'll be okay. I'm not going to take up any more of his time for the day. We're back. He's back. I'm back. I'm back anyway. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't know if you'll come back, but <laughs> thank you, uh, Hill. And you can say thank you to Hill. Um, we can't see him, but we heard every word. Okay, we're going to fix it so that we put the FaceTube video on YouTube. But thank you for being. I'm so proud of you all. Oh my God. Are we just the bomb diggity or what? Do they say bomb diggity anymore? <laughs> That's what I say. I say bomb diggity. Okay, I'm going to do our lesson because I got to get out of here. Okay? I'm going to read our lesson today because I got to get out of here. Remember, steps to knowledge. Uh-huh. Let's step number. Okay, here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> We're going to let him say bye. Oh, let me... Let me load him in. We're going to let him say bye, and then we're going to do our lesson. And I got to go get prayed up and get ready, okay? Is he going to make it? Mm, okay, we'll see. But here's, uh, oh, I'm on the wrong page. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Lesson number 51, step number 51 in Steps to Knowledge says... Let me recognize my... Oh, there he is. <laughs> You're going to come up, Hill. 
Let's see, let's see. Oh, I gotta push this button. <laughs> it's just wonderful doing TV from home. All right, you'll be up in a minute. One, two, that's two. They're counting you in and you'll pop up in a minute. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, thank you for I'm, taking. I'm can I can I sit here for the lessons? Sure, absolutely. I would love to listen and, and, and take it in with the community. Okay, you sure can. <laughs> All right. So Hill, today our reading is coming from a book called Steps to Knowledge. Oh, Steps to Knowledge. Uh huh. And it's by Marshall V. N. Summers. And we are doing step number fifty-one. Okay, mm. everybody. Step number fifty-one. Yeah, here we go. And the lesson is, let me recognize my fears so that I may see the truth beyond them. Your obstacles must be recognized in order for you to see beyond them. If they are ignored or denied, if they are protected or called by other names, you will not realize the nature of their restraint. Restraint. You will not understand that which oppresses your life. Your life is not born of fear. Your source is not born of fear. To be able to recognize your fears means that you must realize that you are a part of something greater. Realize this. Realizing this, you can learn to become objective about your life and to understand that your present circumstances do not lead to self-condemnation. For it is within these circumstances that you must cultivate your higher self. You must start from where you are. To do this, you must take inventory of your strengths and your weaknesses. Fears must remind you, okay, I don't know what happened here. Let me go back on, on. let me reload. This is just a hot mess today. Here we come, here we come, here we come. <laughs> it's okay. All right, I'm back, all right? I'm gonna pick up right where I left off. Evaluate the existence of your fears and remind yourself that your reality is beyond them, but that you must recognize them to understand their damaging presence in your life. To be without fear, you must understand fear Come on now. It is a mechanism. Its influence on people and its result in its life, you must recognize. You must recognize this without deception or without preference. You are a great being working in a limited context, a limited environment. Understand the limits of your environment and understand the limitations of your vehicle and you will no longer limit yourself by fear. <laughs> Let me recognize my fears so that I may see the truth beyond them. That is some good medicine right there, okay? So take a breath. Let us take that in. Let us breathe it in. Long, deep inhale, slow, complete exhale. And today, let us send light, love, and healing energy to the trash collectors, to the grave diggers, to those who are doing jobs that we often discount and ignore. With so many people home, the trash collectors are working harder than they ever have just to keep our streets clean. 
And these are fathers, these are mothers who feed their families by taking away and throwing away what we don't want. Those who dig the eternal homes for the many loved ones we have lost, and there are many who have been lost. These, these divine beings, they work in the summer, the winter, the snow, the rain, the blazing heat, and we hate to need them, but we do. And the service they provide, we, we must acknowledge and recognize with deep compassion and loving kindness. Let us send healing light and energy to fill their minds and strengthen their hearts with compassion. Come on, breathe. Because we are all connected through our hearts, let us see, feel, imagine, intended to be so that the violet transmuting flame, the universal healing energy is surrounding every trash collector in every city, every grave digger in every city, every funeral director. Yeah. Every trash collector, every grave digger, every funeral director who now has the task of keeping families of the departed six feet away from each other in the midst of their sorrow, let us hold them with compassion and we breathe. You know, sometimes we forget all the services that are provided just to get us the things that we need. So we ask that the universal healing energy neutralize and transmute any sadness or sorrow or overwhelm that these brothers and sisters may be experiencing. And we affirm that they each receive the energy that they need to do their work and provide their service that is so needed at this time and so under acknowledged and under recognized. And we breathe. And let us just send them light and love and energy. We forget. We forget. And join me by placing your hand over your heart and repeat these words with me silently or aloud, with the intention that each grave digger, each funeral director, each um, uh, trash collector will receive the energies. May your hearts be comforted, because their work is not easy. May those you serve and, uh, and recognize and honor you May your needs be met with grace and ease. May you know peace. So my beloved, how does it feel to be acknowledged? I'm so sorry YouTube that you couldn't see him, but we'll get this video up, okay? Yeah. Um, how does it feel to be acknowledged? How does it feel to be, to have someone you did something for just come and say thank you? And I would apologize for all the technical problems, but you know, are you clear that when we focused in on him coming in, that he came in and stayed in? Did you get that? <laughs> we are the bad group of folk here. So listen, I need your support today because I have to go and, um, get prayed up and ready. We start our production of Fear Not Today. 
and they're doing all kind of stuff here. That may be why the, 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 the stuff went out. But I'm, I'm actually not leaving you today. I've been here a long time. This is almost an hour with all the cutting in and the cutting out. Yeah. So, but I have an assignment for you. Okay. We don't have a lesson, but today, as you walk through this day, I want you to make a mental and a physical note, a mental and a physical note of the good that you've done in your life. Let's say from just from the beginning of the life, how you've helped somebody, how you supported somebody, write it down, acknowledge it. Yeah. And, and if you can't think of it that way, think of what's going on in your life so that, that you can celebrate. Let's be, this be tip your hat Tuesday. Tip your hat and say, I did that. Tip your hat and say, I'm going to celebrate that. I'm going to celebrate me. Tip your hat Tuesday. So I'm going to leave you, uh, but I want you to get clear throughout this day about the things that you've done in service, in support of others, yeah? And that you may not have even stopped to acknowledge or recognize, or maybe they didn't acknowledge or recognize, but that's okay. You can acknowledge yourself and recognize yourself, okay? So I'm gonna read this for you in our closing. Send me some good love and light and energy. And remember, if you wanna be a guest on Fear Not, we're going to put the link at the top of the page and you can be filmed to ask me a question about fear. Please don't embarrass me going over there asking the people about relationships and money and all of that. <laughs> what do you want? You know I'm on the thing. Go away. <laughs> okay? And I'll be here tomorrow full force, regular time. We're going to do our lesson. But our closing reading today comes from Conflict Resolution for Holy Beings, Conflict Resolution for Holy Beings by Joy Harjo. You know, Joy Harjo is the current poet laureate of the United States, and she is the first Native American poet laureate ever, okay? And this is what she says. Come on, take a breath with me. Take a breath with me, okay? Once the world was perfect. And we were happy in that world. Then we took it for granted. Discontent began a small rumble in the earthly mind. Then doubt pushed through and spiked its head. Hold on, I'll be right there. Hold on, Facebook went down. We're gonna load them back up. Come on, Facebook. All right. Can you hear me now? <laughs> this has just been wonderful. Hasn't this just been wonderful? <laughs> they don't even want me to pray today, okay? But I'm going to pray anyhow. I'm going to do this closing prayer, all right? This closing reading, all right? Uh-huh. Once the world was perfect and we were happy in that world. Is the sound gone? Is it back? Let me see. Somebody on Facebook tell me. Is the sound gold gone? The book is, uh, here you go. The book is um, Conflict Resolutions for Holy Beings. All right. Should I just throw in the towel today? Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Somebody tell me on Facebook. Is the sound there? Yep. Is the sound on Facebook? No, no sound. We can hear you. Okay, good. They can hear me. All right. So, again, Conflict Resolution for Holy Beings by Joy Hardro. Hardjo. She is the Poet Laureate of the United States, the first Native American, and she's from the Muscogee Creek Nation. All right? I'm going to do this real quick. Once the world was perfect, and we were happy in that world, then we took it for granted. Discontent began a small rumble in the earthly mind. Then 
Doubt pushed through with its spiked head. And once doubt ruptured the web, all manner of demon thoughts jumped through. We destroyed the world we had been given for inspiration, for life. Each stone of jealousy, each stone of fear, greed, envy, and hatred put out the light. No one was without a stone in his or her hand. There we were, right back where we started. We were bumping into each other in the dark. And now we had no place to live since we didn't know how to live with each other. Then one of the stumbling ones took pity on another and they shared a blanket. A spark of kindness made a light. The light made an opening in the darkness. Everyone worked together to make a ladder. And the Wind Clan people climbed out first into the next world. And then the other clans, the children of those clans and their children and their children all the way through time to now into this morning. Blessed light be unto you. <laughs> One climbed out and made a way for all the others. That one may be you. Deep bow. Deep bow to Hill Harper for his work. Deep bow for you. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.